trees on Route 601, a public road. Signs warn of unwanted visitors every few feet. Just as we were starting to set up shooting video for this story, two black SUVs pulled up behind us with flashing lights. Our cameras kept rolling as Homeland Security officers checked our personal identification, vehicle registration, and even some of the information that we knew about Mount Weather. Hello again, okay, here in this video. This video is a reply to Mount Weather investigation. The reason I'm doing this reply video to this is because actually this needs to be seen, okay? People need to see this. Uh, people know what HARP is already. We know what we know about HARP. You follow the government. Okay, At the very beginning of this video, what did you see? You see a team of people that was going up to check out Mount Weather. When they were stopped by Homeland Security. That's right, because they couldn't get close to it, could they? Well, we know the technology that the United States government has on weather modification and heart. We know how they patented it. We know how they keep the secrets from the people. How they don't want the people to know what they're doing. That's why John F. Kennedy was killed. Because he don't believe in keeping secrets from the people. Got him killed, didn't it? That trying to take back the monetary system and give back to the people. That's because the evil, the criminals, the terrorists, your government, the terrorists, hiding shit from the people. Why? So they can keep the technology to themselves so they can use it against their own people. That's right. It's called greed, people. It's called pure greed. It's called evil. It's called the government needs to be brought to a stop. We need to find out what's going on up here. I'll guarantee you, you're going to find probably more harp involvement. You will probably find more harp involvement. Okay, so I've got a couple of things I want to show you. Okay, I'm going to play a short clip on harp and then I'm going to play the video which is the reply that I'm doing to, okay? Check this stuff out. See what you can find out. They're hiding something, there's no doubt about it. And that, that's how the government works, ain't it? Don't tell the people. Keep it under the table. Keep it hidden. If somebody finds out about something they don't want you knowing, hurry up and get them killed. Isn't that right? Hurry up and kill them. So you can hide it for yourself because you're greedy. Because you're evil. Because you're sick in the head? Isn't that the way it works? Well, I want you to think about it. Watch this, okay? What you've seen at the very beginning of this video and what you're about to see now. Watch this, leave your comments and opinions and tell me what you think. But I would have to say the United States government and HARP and Mount Weather are all related together. And... There's stuff going on up here they don't want the people knowing. That's why these guys couldn't get close to it. I think maybe everybody should start taking a drive up to Mount Weather. I think we should get thousands of people going up there every day. Every day. Drive them fucking idiots crazy until we get in and find out what the fuck they're doing. Anyhow, leave your comments and opinions and watch this. To the next video, you have a good one. Weather modification can also be used as an instrument of warfare by man manipulating the electro jet and the jet streams which dictate climate. The publicly stated aim is C3 or communications command and control. The margin of victory in war is to block or intercept enemy communications and to secure your own. The signals in the, in the ELF range can be generated by HARP and heard anywhere in the world and are used for earth penetrating tomography basically finding enemy submarines or underground bases. Volcanoes and earthquakes cause electromagnetic disturbances and it is theorized that EM disturbances might themselves trigger earthquakes and volcanoes. Thunderstorms. Speaking of weather forecasting, all of the forecasts that we use here in the Weather Center are actually started from weather balloons. And actually they started at a place called Mount Weather. If you're like me, before this story, many of you probably had never even heard of it. Have you ever heard about Mount Weather? I have not. In Virginia? Where is it? What is it? Mount Weather. Happen? I've heard of Mount Weather or not. 
Is there such a place? There is such a place. I just, you know, every day I wake up and I'm totally amazed at the stuff that I absolutely know nothing about. And this is one of them. And as you're about to find out, that's probably just what the government wants to hear from you. Located in northern Virginia, Mount Weather today is surrounded by an ongoing mystery that can't be contained. To help clear things up, we took the four-hour trip north to the tiny town of Berryville, a population of only about 3,000. It's not far from where Mount Weather started. Berryville is your classic all-American small town, quiet and charming. It even has an old-fashioned barber shop, a place where a dime will buy you two hours of parking time. It's also where we found local historian Mary Morris, who at least gave us some insight on how the mountain got its name. Originally in 1903, it was bought as a weather observatory station. And they had an observatory there, and they flew box kites so that they could uh, work on the weather. And it stayed like that for years. Some of the first weather observations we use today were recorded at Mount Weather. But global politics took over the mountain's mission in the 1950s with the start of the Cold War and the fear of nuclear attack. Since then, the facility has grown, expanding on top of the 430-acre mountain site, but most of the complex is believed to be underground. These satellite photos clearly show what almost looks like a small town with countless roads and buildings. But it's what you can't see that has people in Berryville talking, or perhaps not talking. It's just become part of the landscape with us, and it, it's the old policy, don't ask, don't tell. So we don't ask, they don't tell. Andy McIntyre has actually seen Mount Weather. We met up with him at Jane's Lunch, a small town diner right up the street. What did it look like? Mm, just like a place where you didn't need to be. Really? <laughs> yeah. We couldn't find a single person in Berryville that didn't know something about Mount Weather. Mitzi Myers runs Jane's Lunch. I do know there's like six or eight levels up there because my brother worked for, uh, see, for the telephone company and he's cleared to go down six levels. Six levels of what, though? The rumors run rampant. There's a tunnel from Mount Weather to the White House underground. I've been told that there's a, the side of the mountain opens, like the James Bond movie, and the helicopters go in the side of the mountain. Pretty tall tales. So we decided to check out the location of the place for ourselves. It's nestled deep in the woods, on the border of Clark and Loudoun counties, buried within tall trees on Route 601, a public road. Signs warn of unwanted visitors every few feet. Just as we were starting to set up shooting video for this story, two black SUVs pulled up behind us with flashing lights. Our cameras kept rolling as Homeland Security officers checked our personal identification, vehicle registration, and even some of the information that we knew about Mount Weather. We were careful not to break any laws or trespass. Still, we were politely told to move along, to not attract any unwanted attention from passers-by. Our visit quickly cut short. Now, despite us actually seeing Mount Weather for ourselves, the folks here in Washington are actually being quite tight-lipped about the situation. In fact, published reports indicate that FEMA is no longer even acknowledging Mount Weather's existence. Now, one of the reasons for that could be if there was a major catastrophic event here at the nation's capital, Mount Weather may take over as our second form of government. In fact, the talk around Berryville tends to focus on what role, if any, Mount Weather played during the events of September 11, 2001, when top congressional administration were reportedly whisked off to a secret bunker 75 miles west of Washington. We do know, or we do suspect that when 9-11 was here, we got a call from the D.C. stations here asking us if um, we had seen the vice presidential motorcade come by here. Uh, you couldn't drive down that road. It was The whole road was sealed off. Fiction or not, one thing is clear. Mount Weather will remain a mystery for now. And I have a lot of friends that work up there, but nobody talks. Nobody. Nobody. Not even the first level people will talk to you about the place. So it's pretty cool, but I don't know anything about it. Now, it's important to mention that the Department of Homeland Security treated us with much respect, but they were also very careful not to give us any more information than we had already found out for ourselves. John. Now I want to go. 
Wow. <laughs> We're taking a field trip. <laughs> Thanks, Jim.